Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go through and actually open up your account with Interactive Brokers and get started. The first thing you need to do in your search bar, whether it's Google Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Microsoft Edge, whatever you're using, go over to the top and type in interactivebrokers.ca in the, in the search bar, and this page will pop up. Then what you need to do is just go and click this open account button in the top there. And if you are checking in from the United States, you just wanna do the same thing, but interactivebrokers.com. That's the US site, this is for Canadian. So same thing, but just click that button there to open your account and we'll get started. It's gonna take us to the following page and we need to create a username and password, confirm our email address, and then we're gonna to have to go get the application. So what you would do here, you're gonna fill in the email address that you wanna use, create a username for yourself and that you're gonna remember and a password that you will remember that you're not gonna share with anybody else. And then just confirm the password here, keep Canada as your country, and then click this create account button down at the bottom, and that will go ahead and create your account for you. I'm gonna do this here quickly and then jump into the next video once this account's already been created, and we'll go to step two. You're gonna get, okay, so this is the screen you're gonna get after you've inputted your email and confirmed your password. And it's just asking you to go get your email address, uh, check your email and confirm that this is actually you. So make, just make sure if it ends up in your junk or spam folder, you check those as well. If you can't seem to find it, it may be hiding in there. And all we need to do then is just head over to our email and you get something that looks like this. So we just need to go down here at this verify button and verify the account to get her open. So we're gonna click that now and it should prompt us or say something like it's all done. Let's see what it comes up with here. Okay, so if you don't have the app, it'll let you, it'll let you log in here and you're just gonna put in that username that you had before, which is going to be the same one you entered on the previous page. So hopefully you wrote that down, but you just put your username in here, you put your password in there and you click log in and it's gonna look something like this. So once you have those put in, you just click the login button down there and we're gonna get into this and see what happens next. So now it's asking us to select what type of account we wanna open up. We just wanna choose individual at the top and select this first one here by pushing this blue button at the top. So we're gonna select individual and click select. And then it's gonna say start application, but we also need to make sure we have a province there that we can choose and let's just choose Ontario here. And click start application at the bottom, right there. So you're gonna have to fill out your contact information phone number, personal information, all this stuff. Choose what kind of employment status you have. And then you're gonna have to add some security questions as well. So I'm gonna go through this myself. I'm not going to show you this stuff just because it's personal to you, but just go through it. And it's just like any kind of contact information form, salutation, first name, last name, address, city, phone number, personal number, and you also do have to put in your social insurance number just because the way that this stuff is tracked, it's obviously reported and regulated. So you have to have a social insurance number as well. And then your employment status. And for sources of wealth, I just, normally I just put uh, income from employment. If you're working, if you have other stocks already, you may have some interest or dividend income. And if you have some real estate, you might have a property or two or something like this. If you have spousal income only and you're not, uh, actively working right there. There's there's not just whatever whatever works for you. You just click the buttons and click the check boxes there and just tailor it to what's uh, okay with you. Once you've included all that information, you're gonna get a pop-up here that just says confirm your full mobile phone. So you're gonna get a text message to your phone and just enter that code that you get in this spot here and then click submit. If you didn't end up getting a code or just give it a couple seconds, uh, you can resend it, but just give it a couple seconds, wait for that code to come in, then put it in uh, this area here.
So in order to actually open up the account type that we want, which we do want here is margin account, we don't want to use a cash account because a cash account means you have to have exactly as much cash in it as you want to trade with. We want to use a margin account. And while we do that, we have to provide some income and worth statements. So we need to make sure, and there are, there are limits to what you can actually declare in here. And if, if you don't put in enough income and enough uh, experience, they're not going to let you have a margin account. So you have to just play with this until they actually give you the account that you want because you can't do what you want to do. You can't execute the strategy when you're not in a margin account. So we need to just fill these in and let's try 100 to 140 net worth in Canada. Let's try 500 to 995 in liquid net worth. Let's try 95 to 109. And then we just want to growth for our objectives. And we want to, for experience, let's go two years of experience, select trades per year. Let's go 11 to 20 or 26 to 50, select knowledge level, good knowledge, which you guys will have after taking this course. I'm interested in options trading. Yes, click that, select experience for options trading, say two years. Trades per year, same thing, 26 to 50, good knowledge level. And we'll give that as no because we're not in a position with a publicly traded company where we're 10% more shareholder. We don't want any more add-ons. We don't want the stock yield enhancement program. We don't want a prepaid card. And I think you have to choose which method you actually heard them about them. So you have to fill that in. I just put beginner course, seminar or course. Uh, just put webinar there and click continue at the bottom here once that's all done and we'll see if we get approved. Okay, so there it says we need to, to be approved for options, to trade options like we wanna do and sell naked puts. You have to have an a, investment objective to uh, profit from active trading and speculation. So let's just go back and see if we can go back. And yeah, it'll, it lets you go back and change it. So we want to just make sure that we click growth and profits from active trading and speculation. Everything else should be the same still, which it is. And we'll go down and we will click continue at the bottom again. Try it again. So then it just it will just let you it wants you to confirm your tax residency. So it'll make sure everything in here is in line. Obviously, there's some private information, so I'm not going to show you everything here. Just at the bottom, you need to type in your name and then click that box after, and it will be the last step, I believe, to opening up your account. Oh, just forgot to pick Canada here in this uh, treaty benefit qualification. Just make sure you select Canada and then re-sign at the bottom. Then I'll just review and click continue at the bottom again. Just make sure everything on this page looks right. It'll give you your account ID here which you want to make sure you write down somewhere. And there are a bunch of disclosures at the bottom. You can review these if you want to. It's a lot of just uh, protection on their end, how they regulate and not, not stuff that you actually need to know before you want to trade. Uh, when I started, I didn't go through every single policy here, like stuff like consent to electronic delivery, uh, just different regulations that they're going to go by. Read it if you want, but you actually don't have to, to get started. And again, you just type your signature at the bottom. To get your account going. So they're setting up the account, you get this loading page. So you just got to wait it out. And we'll see how long that takes. So that took about three minutes for me and then it ended up asking for more information. So we're gonna to have to click this button here and continue to set up the application.
see what we have to get here. We're almost there. So it wants you to fund your account. We're not gonna do that right now. I'll show you how to do that later once we actually open up the app. We should still be able to open up a paper account and open that up and see that with this way it is. Answer these open questions. And then mark the data in authentication. So let's answer these questions, see what this is. So because I do have an account that's already open with the same type, I'm gonna click yes for this. And I do have to provide a reason why you're doing the additional account, same type. Okay, I will I'm just gonna put in there, invest in different sectors. And if you have worked for the government, I have, so I'm going to put this, yes, I have. So it's just asking for a little bit more extra information from me because I already have an account, it looks like. So I work for the Niagara region as a project manager. From... I think it was June 2020 to May 2021. So that's all good, finished. They just want some extra data, reasoning why, no big deal. And just waiting on full application approval status. So again, you just need to fund your account, which we will talk about in a different video. I would leave that for now. Let's go and see if we can get this account opened up in the paper account setting.